if the SPD maintains its lead right now, certainly um, there will be a shift toward the left because they will want to partner up with the Greens. But the question is, will it need the FDP or the left party, which would definitely drive the next German government toward the left. But I think that Olaf Scholz is a moderating force within his party. And it's up, if it were up to him, I think he'd probably want to uh, form a coalition with the FDP for a so-called traffic light coalition. Yeah, if we um, think about the traffic light coalition, just to like the dominant scenario, um, what would it have as an impact on transatlantic relations in your view? Um, I think actually all three parties, the CDU, the um, uh, Greens and the um, SPD, the ones that have the chancellor candidates, when it comes to transatlantic relations, there's quite a bit of consensus. Although, um, you know, of course, the SPD and the Greens are shying away from the 2% commitment for NATO. Um, and that could be something that would uh, be different if the CDU um, were in charge of the chancellery. They would certainly push for reaching that goal. Would you think that this is going to be uh, a burden for those transatlantic relations? Because clearly for the U.S. it's quite crucial, that 2 percent target. It is quite um, crucial, but I think that Americans also see that uh, Germany is an important partner within Europe and has increased its military expenditure over the past couple of years. But if, you know, if there were a government with the left party that has a pretty clear um, um, ideological um, rejection of NATO, I think that would certainly cause a lot of friction, not just um, within the transatlantic relationship, but also within Europe. Yeah, talking about Europe, so would you think that a new German government would actually be more pro-European, perhaps moving more into European integration, embracing that capital market union concept, etc.? So all the parties, you know, see the European Union as an important pillar of a German foreign and security policy, but certainly an SPD-led government together with the Greens would be more open to uh, mutual debt and spending more within Europe to create more cohesion within the European Union. On the other hand, they may also shy away from taking a harder stance against Russia, for example, which would also bother um, partners on the eastern flank. Would you say that right now, when it comes to international relations, Europe has made has to make its mind up whether it wants to be very business friendly with China or has good relations with the U.S.? So that, I think, is the crux of the matter. I think Angela Merkel, for the past 16 years, has had a very um, a fine balancing act between uh, supporting Germany's export machine, but also standing up for democratic values that are important to the transatlantic relationship. And I don't know if the next chancellor will be able to maintain that, um, maintain that balance, because at some point, um, a choice needs to be made. Would you say or would you think that Europe then will be rather tougher or Germany tougher on China going forward? So I do think that German voters also see the negative effects with when it comes to relations with Russia and China. So even if um, there is this pressure, of course, uh, to keep the German export machine well oiled, I think German voters also realize when it comes to like mindedness, uh, there is more affinity with European partners and with the United States.